All right, graph this equation. There's a huge problem with this one because right now our minds are trained to graph those circles. Unfortunately, this, this x right here, it, it has an exponent of 1. All right. So this hopefully is reminding you more of a parabola. The reason why this doesn't look like a parabola equation is because we're used to seeing it as y equals some garbage, right? I mean, if we wanted to change this, you could make it uh, a times x minus, it would have been the h squared plus the k. This is kind of the expanded form of it. We went through several other forms, but this, real, well, this one is really the one that you have to memorize, is the formula for the vertex. Now, the one that we went over was, was a negative b over 2a. And then the y value is whatever that x value is. We just plug it back into the equation. Negative b over 2a. Something like this, right? The problem is, is that that's for something like this one right here. y equals a quadratic with x. The equation that we have, that we have right here is x with a quadratic of y. Which means that in order to solve this one, we're going to have to switch the two. So we're just inverting those two x and y values now. Which means we're going to solve for the y value first. This is how we find the vertex of the quadratic. This, is one, this one is specifically for an inverted parabola, though, because usually these two are switched, which is what, which is what we sh showed earlier there. What does the f stand for? It's a function. For this function, we're going to replace, and I, I apologize. Formally, we could make this f of negative 1. Remember, that's not an exponent. It just shows that it's inverted. It's an inverse function. So, the so <clears throat> what is negative b over 2a in this case? Well, just looking at this quadratic right here, we have an a value, which would be negative 1, a b value, which is negative 6, and a c value, which is negative 10. Now, granted, for the vertex, we only need two of them, the b and the a value. So, right here, this is going to change to a negative. b is a negative 6 over 2a, so 2 times negative 1. Now, we do have two negatives on this thing that will cancel out, but we still have the negative in front. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, this is going to... The vertex here, the y value, is negative 3. So to find the x value, all I need to do is go back into the equation that we have and replace the x, I'm sorry, the y, with negative 3. That will help me to complete this ordered pair, which will tell me where the vertex is. So in this equation, we're going to replace our y with the y value that we found. And this is specifically for the vertex. That was a negative 3, right? Jeez, I mean... There we go. And if I evaluate this, then I've got a negative. Sorry, a negative. Negative 3 squared is 9. Minus 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. And, of course, minus 10. Again, this is for the x value. And I can evaluate this. I got minus a negative 18 there, so I'm actually going to end up adding the 18. When I combine these all, sorry, let me... Emphasize that negative 9. Negative 9 plus 18 minus 10. I get a negative 1. So that is my x value for the vertex of this parabola. So let's graph this. I'm just going to graph the vertex though, right? After I graph the vertex, I'm going to have to choose values of y in a table in order to graph the rest of this thing accurately. So negative 1, negative 3, that point right there in red. And I'm going to need a table to graph the rest of the points. And since my x value is depending on the y values, I'm going to have to choose y values for this thing. So I've got an x and y. And we can see the vertex there is at uh, y is negative 3. So, in other words, if I had negative 3 in my table, my x value would be negative 1. So I can just move out from there. Meaning I could make this negative 2, negative 1, maybe negative 4, negative 5. Just see where that takes us. So in the equation, 
we have uh, negative 1 squared is 1, but this is a negative of that. So negative 1 minus 6 times negative 1, so negative 1 plus 6 is 5, minus 10. That gives me, whoops, a negative 5 right here. So my next point is at negative 5, negative 1. Let me draw my axis of symmetry on this thing too. And the reason I want to do that is because it's going to reflect across that axis of symmetry, which is why we call it the axis of symmetry, because it's symmetric. So whatever is on the one side is duplicated opposite on the other side. Kind of like a mirror, right? How do you know it's horizontal? We don't necessarily need to know that that axis of symmetry is left or right, because if we start graphing these points, we should, we should get these values, which... I'm going to show on the table here anyways, I guess. Uh, let's move on to this y is negative 2 first, though. So if y is negative 2, then I got negative 4 plus 12 minus 10. So is that negative 2? So negative 2, negative 2. And then, of course, this should be reflected, which means when y is negative 4, I should also get negative 2. And when y is negative 5, I should get negative 5. That's what I should get. Okay. So let's test this in the equation. So negative of negative 4 squared, that'd be negative 16 minus 6 times negative 4. So that'd be like plus 24. That's 8 minus 10, negative 2. Bam. Nailed it. Same with the negative 5. It's going to give us that negative 5 right there. That shows us. Since we knew the vertex, that as this came around to the vertex, it swung back. The vertex is the tip of that parabola. So in other words, we kind of know from here that it's just going to increase both ways up and down to the left. Uh, let, let me go back to this form right here, right? This y equals that garbage. I can force the equation to look like that. Now this one of course is going to be x equals that, right? So again this is what we have. This is what we have right here. Now again my, my objective right now is to make it look like that. That will tell me very quickly what the vertex is and which way it's opening up, okay? Since this one's inverted it's either got to open up to the, to the right or open up to the left. And it's either one or the other. It's not a hyperbola, okay? I think I said that right. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is to, hmm, well, separate this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot an X right there. What I mean by that is I want to separate my, dang it, that's a Y. <laughs> Thank you. I want to separate my Ys from that uh, constant so let's see what that looks like. I got negative y squared minus 6y, and then this is minus 10. The reason why I've separated this is so that I can, com can complete the square. The way I'm going to complete the square here is much different. So if you like this method, then use it. If you hate it, never use it ever again. But uh, the choice is yours on this one, right? So now uh, the first thing I need to do actually is to make this a positive y squared right there. So I can't, I can't have that be a negative, first of all. So what I'm going to have to do from just these two terms is to factor out a negative. So now I've got x equals a negative a y squared plus 6y. And yes, I'm giving myself some space and then I've got this minus 10. Um, to complete this square, right, I would add half of the b value and square that. And that's going to give us a 9 right here. This one's a little different because really what I just did is I subtracted 9. That's because of the negative that's out front. Okay. So since I subtracted 9 there, I've got to add 9 out here. Otherwise, I've changed the value of that equation. So what does this do for us? Well, that allows us directly to change this into this parabolic equation form. So now I have x equals negative, 
and this would be y minus 3 squared. Yes, I did skip a few steps. And negative 10 plus 9 would be minus 1 right there, right? Um, apologize, that's, that's a plus from the inside there. Well, this is now in that form, right? This would be y minus h. So the h value is a negative 3, but again, it's inverted, so that's really our y value. And it was minus 1, which was our, now it's our h value because it's of the inversion. That's, that's just how we get the vertex. The negative right here indicates that it would open up to the left, which is the way that ours did.